Hi guys, welcome back to Feathers and Fur. So today I promised the school that I was working with that I would post a video on how to tie the falconry knot. So all you're gonna need for this is a piece of rope. I'm using a falconry tether. You might use a shoelace or a piece of string. And then you're gonna need something to tie the loop around. So whether it be the handle of a bucket or the arm of a chair, the leg of a table, anything to be able to make a loop. I'm gonna splice the two of videos together. My leash is gonna go from red to blue, magically. Um, if you have any questions, pop them in the comments box underneath and hopefully you'll come up and visit the centre soon. Take care, many thanks. Okay, so we've got our perch, our bow perch, and I've got my leash. We're gonna hold the bobble end of the leash in your left hand. We're gonna hold the tail end in our right hand. We're gonna pass it through whatever we're practicing on. So for me, it's a bow perch. For you, it might be the arm of a chair, the back of a chair. We're gonna pass it through. Now that's hooked up. Okay. Gonna snip with our first two fingers of our right hand. Snip the tail end. Then we're gonna put the bird end across the palm of your hand. Keep your hand nice and open. This helps you to see everything. And if you keep it slightly tight, it will also mean that everything's not loose and floppy when you're trying to tie it as a knot. So tight across your hand. Now your thumb is gonna come over the top of the one that's crossing your palm and pick up just above your fingers. Then you're gonna come backwards. Now, can you see, this is a bit important. This piece of rope here, I'm allowing it to move through my fingers, but I'm keeping it tight. So keep that tight. Now we have a back to front figure four. Now, I'm gonna come underneath. So at the moment I'm over the top, I'm gonna to come underneath both these sets of string here. So I'm gonna come underneath all the way, all the way, all the way. And now my fingers are on the other side. Can you see that? Now they're over here. Now this is the difficult part. You're going to try and push into the top of your thumb. So you have to move those fingers. See how I've got them there? We have to move them, pushing it into this big hole made by my thumb now. You might have to come underneath to hold onto it, pinch hold of it, and pull it down and towards your bird. Can you see how we've made that loop? Now, we're gonna pull the bird end. You see that the knot travels back up to the loop here. And then I'm gonna take my tail end and lock off through the loop. There we go. See, now no matter how much this end is pulled, that knot's gonna come undone. Or even if I pull this end, it's just gonna make my knot tighter. To undo my knot, all I'm gonna do is pull out that tail end again and pull off down the bottom. I'm gonna watch again. So, through, there's my bird end. Snipped, over the top, pick up, passing through my fingers here, underneath both bits of rope, into the top of my thumb, pushing it down and pulling it through the loop created by my thumb pulling my bird, locking it off. 